Git ref log is a logging mechanism for tracking where the head of your local repository has been over time. So in this video, what I'd like to do is make changes to my local repository and monitor how Git ref log evolves as I make those changes. And the right panel here is just a listener. It's going to update automatically whenever I make changes to my working directory in the left panel. So right now we're getting the output from running git ref log without anything, without a, uh, a repository initialized. So let's go ahead and do that. So git init. And the output will change on the right. I don't have a commit, so let's go ahead and make one. Add, add it to the index. And ref log is updated to reflect the initial commit add foo. Let's make another change here. Let's call this questionable work, something we're not too sure about. And just commit this. Okay, so you can see the ref log has been updated with questionable work. We can take a look inside the file. Questionable work is there. Okay, now suppose that you don't like questionable work. You want to just get rid of it. Let's just do a git revert head as you normally would. Okay, there's the revert commit message. And we can check inside. Hi, we're definitely, we've reverted the work. So you'll notice that the ref log reflects the revert and it reverts questionable work. Suppose later on you actually like the work that you did, you want to revert. So let's just do the revert again. We'll revert and we'll do the more explicit one this time just to prove a point. Head at zero is the same as head. Okay, so you get this weird commit message, revert, revert, save that. Notice the ref log gets updated. You've got revert, revert, questionable work. Let's check one more time and see what's in there. Questionable work is back in foo. Okay, now let's do one more. How about something really important? Uh, dog birthday, August 18th or whatever. And then commit this dog b day. Okay, this is important stuff, you can't forget it. So on the right, you'll notice the commit is reflected in ref log. Okay, now suppose later on you're reflecting on the uh, commit history in your branch and you're like, what is this revert revert thing? You know, that's pretty messy, I don't wanna deal with that. So suppose that you do something like this. So you use the incredibly destructive git reset. And you say, well, I'm looking at the ref log. I wanna go back to questionable work. So I'm gonna use this relative reference. I'm gonna use hard so that I have a clean working state. This looks really good. Okay, so now we're back at what was previously head at three. You can see in the ref log, we've got moving to head at three. Okay, let's check inside foo now. And it says questionable work. But what about the dog birthday? So almost inadvertently, we've thrown away work that we've done, important work that we should not forget. Uh, so now what I'd like to do is show you how to resurrect the work. So we'll use the ref log, so we'll get checkout, and we're gonna go to the place right before the reset so that we can pull this work out of oblivion. So get checkout, let's do head at one. You'll get this detached head message. That's a topic for a whole other screencast. The important thing is we can look inside foo and we get dog birthday, August 18th. So that's great, we've resurrected that. Now we just follow the instructions in the detached head message by creating a new branch. I'll call it the dog branch. And let's check the contents of foo one more time. It's the dog birthday is still there. Okay, and then we'll check out master. Notice how the ref log is getting updated. Okay, there's another update to the ref log, moving from dog to master. And let's check the contents of foo. Questionable work, that's not good. But what we need to do is merge our change in from the dog branch. There it is, you can see the ref log updates with the merge, and it even tells us what type of merge. It's a fast forward. Now we can check foo, and there's something really important, dog b day. The last thing I'll do is remove the branch, the dog branch. And you'll notice the ref log is not updated. It's not updated because head is not impacted by deleting a branch that we're not currently on. So anyway, that's git ref log. Um, I use it all the time. It's great for 
monitoring where the head of your local repository has been over time and for resurrecting work that maybe you shouldn't have blown away. You can always do it as long as you've committed it. So anyway, hope this has been helpful.